Thank you for viewing this video. I'd like to speak to you uh, today concerning the refreshing that's coming for the people of God. I don't know about you, but there are times in the last few weeks that I've said, Lord, I just, I just need a refreshing. You know, and, and King David said, uh, anoint me with fresh oil, uh, a fresh wind, a fresh oil. Uh, both of those are coming uh, for the people of God that are believing. You know, in Acts chapter 3, verse 19, it says, Repent and turn back to the Lord that you might receive the refreshing that is coming from the Spirit of God and from knowing Jesus. You know, and, and I believe that that refreshing is like um, being in a, a, a wonderful shower of rain. Uh, that it's a, a cleansing and a, and a time of renewal uh, for all of us as we just get into the overflow of God's Holy Spirit. You know, he says in the book of Joel, I'm going to pour out my spirit upon all flesh. You know, that's where we need the refreshing. You know, our spirit man is ready to go. It's ready to do uh, the work of the Lord. But many times our flesh, our, our, our minds, uh, I don't know about you, but uh, sometimes there's so much thinking going on in my mind that my mind becomes weary and tired. But when I get into the presence of God and, and let Him bring the refreshing to me, uh, then He clears, He brings clarity to those thoughts uh, that I've been thinking. You know, in Psalms 23... King David says, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. You know, one of the reasons that we, many times that we need a refreshing or a renewal is that we're trying to do things ourselves in our own strength. But here it says, the Lord is my shepherd. You know, I'm here in this beautiful spot, uh, you know, beautiful meadows behind me, and it's a peaceful place. My husband and I like to come here and, and just... Just receive renewal from the Lord. And it says here, He leads me or He makes me to lie down in green pastures. Many times we have to lay down our work and pick up God's work. Many times we have to lay down the thoughts that come to hinder us and bother us and trouble us and, and pick up His thoughts. You know, finally, brethren, think on these things. Things that are lovely, things that are pure, things of good report. Uh, and that's, that's what we need to be thinking about. But he brings us to a place uh, in the spirit realm that's like this place, a place of peace, a place of comfort. He says, he leads me beside the still waters. I love to go uh, by the, the little uh, streams and brooks and, and sit there and just watch the water uh, run over the rocks. Uh, it's peaceful. It's calm. He restores my soul. Hallelujah. That soul, those feelings, those emotions, that thinking, He restores us when we come into His presence. Remember, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He guides me in the paths of righteousness. Sometimes uh, there are things that we're doing that that are causing us to be weary, causing fatigue to come uh, in the spirit realm. And we need to lay those things down at the feet of Jesus and pick up, uh, pick up, yoke up with him. Um, and, and our yoke will be easy, it says. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, have you felt like lately that you're, there's some darkness around you? Because there's darkness everywhere in the world. But Jesus said, in the world you're going to have tribulation, but be of good cheer. Be of good cheer. Let the joy of the Lord rise up in you, for I have overcome the world. Praise God. Praise God. When we stay in His presence and stay in His Word and stay in prayer, then that refreshing is going to come. I will fear no evil, for you are with me. King David says, I know, I know the Lord is with me. And if the Lord be with you, who can be against you? You prepare a table. No, it says your rod and your staff, they comfort me. And there, 
there are times when comfort is needed. Uh, I speak comfort to those of you that have lost loved ones uh, recently. I just sense in my spirit that comfort, I send comfort to you from the Holy Spirit. Be comforted this day. Be at peace this day. You're, you prepare a table before me even in the presence of my enemies. Even when there's things all around me that are going wrong, even though the enemy's coming at me from all different directions, you prepare a table before me. You prepare a feast before me. You say, come and dine. Hallelujah. You know, the Lord's telling us today, come and dine. Sit at my table. Let me prepare a meal for you. Taste of me and see that I am good. Hallelujah. I know that I'm touching some hearts this morning. I just sense uh, that you're you're feeling uh, the, the lifting off of, of that darkness and the lifting off of those burdens. You anoint my head with oil. Praise God. You know, Jesus is the head, and that anointing runs down. You know, uh, it says in Psalms 133, how good and how pleasant it is when brethren dwell together. It is like the precious ointment that ran down upon Aaron. You know, and, and this is what King David is saying. He's saying, oh, Lord, you're, you're refreshing me. You're, you're pouring the oil on me. Uh, the anointing destroys every yoke. And if you have a yoke of bondage today, if you have a yoke of, of sickness or disease or depression or any other type of mental uh, disorder, uh, that refreshing is coming to you today. Jesus' name, surely. And it says, my cup overflows. You know, when when I come to a place like this and I get before the Lord and, and I hear his voice, then my cup, my inside, and and, and it's just running over uh, with, with joy and with comfort. Surely goodness and love will follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen and amen. I want you to receive the refreshing today. If you need a refreshing in your thinking, I speak that over you right now in Jesus' name. If you need a renewal and refreshing uh, in your muscles and in your, the nerves of your body, I, I send refreshing to you right now. If you need a refreshing in your, in your marriage and a refreshing in your parenthood, uh, I send that refreshing to you right now in Jesus' name. Be healed and prosper, even as your soul prospers. Thank you for viewing today.